This really is the most wonderful time of the year. Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's the end of the year. <laughs> and, uh, it's been uh, an eventful 2021. I hope you're having an enjoyable holiday and uh, I wish you all a happy new year. But before we get to that, becoming a tradition around here. This is the third year I'm covering the top builds from the Scale Builders Guild forums. And if you are not familiar with the Scale Builders Guild forums, you really ought to check them out. There will be links down below to all of the builds that I'll be featuring today. Uh, and uh, it's a really great opportunity for you to learn a little bit of something. The forums are not like Facebook. They're not like Instagram. They're kind of like all of those things, but better. We've got some extremely talented builders on the SBG forums and what they're able to create and what they're able to show on the forums can't really be seen anywhere else. It's a threaded format. So you get to see like a story, how a build goes together. And that to me is the most important way of showing how these tiny trucks come together. It's great to see the end result, but it's nice to see how they got there. And that's the beauty of the forum. So I definitely recommend you go check it out. And in fact, since last year, there's been an entire upgrade on the forums. They are a lot more performance oriented. They load a lot faster and they look a lot more modern. So definitely go check them out. Links down below, like I said. And we're going to get started with a pretty spectacular build. This is, pardon my noobs, Dodge Ram. And if you can't ram it, dodge it. I think that's how that saying goes. Uh, a really beautiful build uh, and one that I think deserves some special attention. This one's been in the works for a long time and I've been waiting to add this to the actual builds of the year for I guess four years or so. You know, life happens. It's not always easy to get these things done. Uh, but um, this is a really spectacular build. Let's look at some of the details right now. So like any good pardon my new build, you start with a reference photo and here's a reference photo of a Dodge. Usually a side one is good. Uh, all, of those, uh, all of those things get transferred over to styrene, uh, traced on there and then cut out. And that's kind of how all these builds sort of start. And you can see that Richard's already starting to put a bit of a curvature into some of those panels and that's just to help give you the actual structure that uh, goes into this truck. And here's more of that put together here. And uh, it's, uh, it's a long process and uh, it's uh, a lot of trial and error with scratch building. There's some filler added in there. So it's starting to get the actual shape of the truck there. Uh, Richard does a ton of precise work when it comes to these bodies and has started to use 3D printing, FDM, to print out uh, some of the elements of this uh, bed here, as you can see. Such odd fenders. <laughs> that whole tailgate there actually is 3D printed, the whole thing. Uh, Richard designed that in uh, Autodesk Fusion. And uh, finally some color, uh, which is um, very teal. I believe this is some sort of, uh, he's made it out to be like a used or retired forestry uh, services vehicle. Some inner fenders of his own design that he vacuum formed and then some resin printing as well for the interior bits. And now you're probably wondering how does he get those great gaskets? It's RCA cable, which you shouldn't be having any use for anymore. He trims along one edge and actually glues it into place and puts it around the actual edge of the windshield to make it look like proper window gaskets and the result is amazing. 3D printed grill as well uh, to really kind of get those details. Sometimes it's easier to do 3D printing. This case is definitely one of them. And a lot of really amazing interior details. Uh, bench seats, seat belts, uh, door cards there with uh, all the proper and accurate stuff. And the final finished result in Smiggins Folly, which looks really amazing. I have yet to see it in real life because I don't get to leave my home anymore. But uh, I can't wait. I'm actually uh, hoping to get out there this spring uh, and maybe even the summer again. And a little video to finish it off. It's great to see this Dodge come together. It took 
a long time, but I think it was well worth the wait. Richard did an amazing job, lots of great detail, and, you know, there's just something about a scratch-built truck uh, that really just chuffs my Gulliver. It's pretty amazing, and uh, uh, Richard deserves a lot of credit for putting together uh, probably one of the first Dodge Rams that I've ever seen. I don't know why these aren't more popular. It's a really cool body style, and... Uh, I hope more people will try to take these on in the future. Hopefully, maybe even we'll see a hard body someday. Uh, that'd be pretty neat. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Richard, for your submission. Uh, it's spectacular. And uh, can't wait to see what you have in store for next year. Next on the list, we've got a pair of Range Rover Classics. These are from Pete 30 and Powell. Two lovely gents put together these amazing JS scale Range Rover classic builds in, I would say, very vastly different ways. Uh, so let's take a look at both of those. They are really spectacular, and I'll be sure to put links down below to both of the build threads so you can check them out on the Scale Builders Guild. Okay, so Pete started with the GCM C-Max, which is a really good choice for a Range Rover. Uh, you get all the right coils, and you can do the uh, proper suspension setup. And uh, then he opted to go with a Mr. Comedy scale motor. These are really detailed 3D printed motors, uh, really add a lot of realism to the build. The JS scale does make an interior. Uh, this is part of it here, uh, fits perfectly on the C-Max. And uh, Pete actually went to the trouble of printing some of his own accessories here. So a nice uh, scale fuel cell there. And this is what I think uh, is a mercury switch, uh, which you can use to sort of simulate brake lights, which I think that's what that is. Pretty cool. Lots of wiring, uh, but lots of great places to hide all of that wiring. <coughs> and there's the completed engine bay with some 3D printed inner fenders. Uh, just amazing what you can achieve with 3D printing. It's really changing this hobby. Uh, this uh, driver here, uh, or passenger in this case, has got a flashlight, which lights up, which I think is just so cool. I think uh, Pete did a really great job on this one. And uh, fully detailed uh, boot. <laughs> Lots of uh, scale accessories there. That's actually where the battery is hidden behind that scale box there. Pretty neat. And some finished photos. It's just the attention to detail and the quality of the finish of this truck that really made me put it in the top builds for this year. It just looks spectacular, and uh, I think that the photography really helps. And uh, you've probably watched a few episodes of the old uh, Lightroom Live, maybe, to get some of those great photos. Nice job. Also, bonus, uh, full-scale adventure trailer. Really, really awesome work. Pete, thank you for submitting. And now on to Powell's build. Totally different. SCX-10 Raw Builders Kit for this one. And uh, you can see the transmission is hidden quite nicely there. The reason he went with this one is to put in the Super Scale 2020 trans... Uh, super, super... <laughs> super, super, super... Uh, scale... Suspension system. And uh, that's so he can do uh, ride height adjustments on the fly just like a real Range Rover might have there's the finished interior with some uh, added accessories I think from uh, his own collection there uh, really nicely detailed seats uh, really kind of make for that build uh, some amazing overhead lights <laughs> again Powell went way above and beyond with all of his lighting here as you can see uh, this is really spectacular stuff, and something that I think I'd like to do for one of my next builds is just really go over the top with wiring. <laughs> Look at all those wires, oh my gosh. It's so crazy. Uh, but it just really adds a whole new dimension and level of realism to the build. As you can see there, he's got uh, Terminator <laughs> as the driver, and lights everywhere. Look at that, on the door cards there. All the proper lighting, just uh, like a real Range Rover. It really is spectacular uh, nicely detailed and it's just so great when you can do a build like this and everything's hidden and you know even with the raw builders kit which has that big uh, center mounted transmission you can get a pretty good looking scale build out of it and uh, i think that's one of the reasons i decided to choose powell's build for one of the top builds this year it just 
is really spectacular. And I'm like, I'm so amazed that he was able to hide everything under that chassis. It's pretty spectacular. I keep saying spectacular a lot, but it's a pretty appropriate word, I think, for a lot of these builds. Nice job, Powell. And Pete. Thanks, guys. Next, a very unique build and one close to my heart because I do very much love Volvo C30 whatevers. And this is a Volvo C304, which is the 6x6 version of the Swedish box that I've built before and love to see others build. This one's by Loop One, another very talented member of the Scale Builders Guild and uh, a pretty spectacular build with some really awesome photography. So let's take a look at that one. The Volvo C303, or 304 in this case, are really great starting points if you're starting to get into scratch building because it's basically just a box. <laughs> There's not a lot of curves to these, uh, to these bodies. And uh, it's a great place to start. It's one of the first uh, scratch builds I ever did was a C303. So um, you can see Loop 1 using a lot of the same techniques as the rest of us, uh, using uh, patterns from the internet, blueprints, what, you, what have you, to build all the uh, panels required. And he's building this on a TRX-6, which makes it a very big truck, uh, which is pretty exciting, actually. I haven't seen one at this scale, so this is really, really unique. Uh, nice long truck as well, as you can see, but it looks like it's going to fit on that uh, TRX-6 pretty well. Um, to give you sort of a reference for the scale of one of these trucks, uh, here is a picture of a cat. <laughs> uh, which is, uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty big. Um, Loop One went to a lot of lengths to get this as accurate as possible, opening doors, uh, opening front window, and uh, really nice detail work, good finishing on all of those curves. Um, there is one curve, and that's on the, on the roof, so yeah, it can be a bit challenging, but I think he, he nailed it pretty, pretty well. Uh, working with styrene is a very rewarding process, and I think that once you get your first scratch build out of the way, it kind of opens up the possibilities for other things that you can do. Uh, and, you know, take your skills to the next level. Each build gets better every time you do it, and you can start to incorporate techniques you learned from the Scale Builders Guild and the forums uh, to make that next build even better. So keep that in mind. It's a great place to learn something. Nice uh, detailed interior there. Uh, pretty basic, but still it uh, was pretty basic in the real truck. So <laughs> you're not missing a lot of detail. That's just how they looked. Very utilitarian. And let's wrap this one up with some nicely finished photos. Uh, this truck just looks so great out in the wild. Like it really kind of, he, he nailed it. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And the fact that it fits so well on a TRX-6 is pretty spectacular. These were a very high riding vehicle, really high center of gravity, but still very capable in the real world. And uh, I think that uh, Loop One did a really good job of capturing those details in this build. Lots of nice scale details and uh, some really great finishing. So uh, congrats on making the top builds from 2021. Thanks very much for your submission. I'm a sucker for Toyotas, Land Cruisers specifically, and any time Shop GTR puts together another Land Cruiser, it's a good year on the Scale Builders Guild. Uh, and this is probably his fourth or fifth one. And this one's extremely special because it's an FJ60. And I really like the FJ60s. Uh, this started as a MFAB 3D printed body and he's getting harder and harder to get a hold of. I think these bodies are just gonna get more and more rare. So very cool to see another one of these. Let's dig right into the details. I'm pretty sure that Corey was one of the lucky ones to get one of MFAB's SLA printed bodies. And this is a resin printed body. Uh, pretty rare, but also requires so much less finishing than his previous FDM printed models. So uh, Corey was already at a pretty big advantage. Like all of his previous builds, he's doing a full interior. He's 3D printed his own inner fenders and uh, doing a full flat floor, which is very impressive. Uh, interior has a lot of nice uh, detail here using uh, some felt, it looks like, to uh, upholster the inside. 
You can already get some lighting detail there on the dash. Uh, he's using Dr. Scott Brown from back in time 80s movie to be the driver, which I think is pretty great. That's uh, what I believe to be a functioning woofer in the back. Excellent paint quality. Corey is very good at painting. Looks just spectacular. And then, like I said, these resin bodies are so much easier to print. There's the interior all lit up and got the uh, air freshener on the uh, rearview mirror and uh, some nice finished photos there. What a spectacular looking FJ60. I am blown away by the quality of uh, Corey's builds. I definitely suggest you check out uh, the Builders Guild forums because there are so many more of these bodies. Well, a lot more FG60s by Corey himself. Uh, he is a bit of a fan, that's for sure. And uh, another quality job, sir. Thanks very much for your submission. And shocker, another Toyota made the list. This one from Wrencher. Amazing, is all I have to say. It's an Icon rebuild. Uh, so it's not technically a Toyota. It's more of like an updated, modernized FJ. Uh, very cool to see this come together as well. Another labor of love for sure. Let's check this one out in more detail. Chris, or Wrencher as he's known on the forums, uh, started with a RC four-wheel drive a cruiser body and heavily modified it. Uh, stretched it into a four-door, uh, redid the tailgate, really just kind of uh, stretched the whole thing and, and made it look a lot more uh, accurate to an icon, uh, which is uh, a modified and you know modernized FJ Cruiser essentially. Uh, really cool company. They've been doing a lot of really neat stuff. But what really shines here more than Chris's amazing bodywork is his fabrication skills. Completely custom chassis. All the suspension links. Everything is custom. There's not a lot on here that you just buy off the shelf. He really went above and beyond on making sure that this was as accurate as it possibly could be to the real thing. That front bumper is completely custom. It's uh, pretty spectacular. Chris has been doing a lot of metal work for a long time. I think he's got a history in the uh, full-size world. I know he's a mechanic, so he does a lot of work on uh, full-size vehicles. Uh, he did all the metal work on the Range Rover Classic that I'm going to be rebuilding, and that was from a few years ago. Uh, so it's really nice to see that he's keeping up with his really, really talented uh, builds. A uh, nice full metal roll cage, uh, four seats there. Those look to be 3D printed. And uh, these wheels are custom for the Icon, and these were actually 3D printed as well. And I believe he did a um, uh, some sort of acetone uh, bath or something to get them to be as smooth as they are. They look really awesome. Full uh, engine bay. <laughs> this was another uh, scale designs by Mr. Comedy Motor. Uh, really, really spectacular, and um, it's so realistic. Like, it really just takes these builds to the next level, which I think is pretty amazing. I'm actually probably doing a bit of a disservice to this build by only showing a few photos because there's so much work that went into this one. It's just outrageous to see the level of detail that Chris took this one to. So I... I kind of suggest you go to the forum and go through all the photos that he's posted there because there is so much more to see than I can possibly talk about in one video. Nice fully detailed engine bay with the uh, air box on there, battery, all the wiring. It's just outrageous the amount of work that Chris put into this. And I think it was partially because his plan was to always give this to the owner founder of uh, icon vehicles uh, and um, I, th I think he wanted to make sure that he got this as close to the real thing as possible so when he shared it with the owner uh, the owner was just as impressed with the tiny ones as he is with his full-size ones let's wrap this one up with some nice outdoor shots of the finished truck it's awesome I mean, there's so many details here that you can't just get out of a box. 
You know, there's a lot of effort that goes into making these trucks and it's great to be able to recognize and share some of these with, with you guys so you get an idea of what can be done. You know, this isn't just a RTR or a kit that you assemble. This is something you build from scratch. And uh, you can definitely see the love and attention that went into this. And I think Wrencher did a really amazing job. And I'm glad that he shared it with us on the forums. It's pretty amazing, really. I think he went all the way out to Montana to share this build uh, with the owner of Icon. And uh, I think he got a real kick out of it, which is pretty darn cool. So thanks, Chris, for sharing this one with us and uh, for sharing it with Icon. I'm sure they're thrilled, too. And finally, you might have gathered from the thumbnail that this is the last build that I'm featuring for the 2021 best builds from the Scale Builders Guild forums. Luxor's catches best I can do <laughs> long Toyota which I now own which I think is pretty spectacular uh, he was kind enough to sell it to me and uh, I knew before I even bought it that it was going to be on the top builds for 2021 just because it is so weird <laughs> I guess this truck actually exists in real life somewhere uh, and uh, I'm just really really excited to have it and to share it all with you there's a lot of great detail about how Lux put this all together. And uh, let's go check out those photos now. Like any good build, Lux started by ruining it. Uh, <laughs> it started as a TF2 uh, and uh, he chopped it, removed the axles and put leaf springs under MSTs and spring under. So it uh, sits quite low on the chassis, which I really like. Uh, also had to extend the bed uh, instead of a bob, it's a reverse bob. <laughs> Lux does a lot of planning, uh, and you can see he's sort of like planning out the stages of how it was all going to go together. Uh, vacuum formed uh, from some MDF bucks for those uh, rear fender flares for the dually, and uh, looks like those are going to go on quite well. He used a little bit of uh, uh, gasket to make them work on that uh, on that bed. It looked really cool. There's the start of the extended cab, sort of a camper back, I guess. Uh, I don't really know why this truck exists, but it does, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> Working windows there. Uh, full vacuum form drop bed uh, just really adds to the realism uh, and looks awesome. You can only do this with uh, leaf sprung trucks because there's no shock towers, obviously. Uh, and there it is all in primer after a lot of work and uh, hand formed brass to make up those rear view mirrors. And there it is nearly complete, which is pretty spectacular. It's a long, weird truck and uh, it looks so great in photos. Lux did an amazing job on this and just such a unique build. Really happy to be able to have it in my own personal collection. Thanks again, Lux. So there you have it. That's all the best builds that I, I considered for uh, this year's top builds of 2021 from the Scale Builders Guild forums. Do not be intimidated. I want you to go check out the forums. They are an excellent resource and they're of excellent inspiration. If you're trying to build something, you're trying to figure out how to do something, there are a lot of helpful people there that have a photo or have an idea of how to do that thing that you're trying to do. So by all means, go check it out participate, get involved. Maybe we'll see your build in the top builds of 2022. Who knows? Was there a build from the forum that maybe I missed? Uh, there were a ton. So uh, if you've got a nomination, by all means, put it down below in the comments. You know I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And if you're enjoying this video, you like videos where I show awesome builds from forum members, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime. There's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. I think that's going to do it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the caliber of the builds and the quality of the people that are involved in the Scale Builders Guild forums. We've got great people there. I invite you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for a whole great year. It's been really amazing. There's been a lot of really great stuff that's come through here, uh, and a lot more cool stuff coming in 2022. So I hope you stick around. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. Happy New Year.